Kathy Cooks and welcome back to my kitchen. Now today we are taking something that I've never done before and that's one of these packaged meals that it's got your, your piece of beef in it. It has onion, celery, carrots, and potatoes in it and back there a seasoning packet. Now this is my second time doing it. The first time I did it just like you're supposed to. I put the seasoning packet on the beef, I seared the beef and I made a roast. Today, I'm going to make a beef stew with this. And I have this little bit of barley and I was like, well, what a good reason to get rid of this barley. I'll make it a barley beef stew, put this in there. So let's get going. Okay, when you open this up, you can see you have your vegetables in this packet. There's your onion, quite a few potatoes, carrots, Again, if you want to add a few more of something, you can. Here's your seasoning packet that I thought was delicious. Um, I'm not even going to look what's in there. Okay, get the meat out. And we are going to cut this up. Now, how big... A oh, little more meat on there, fat on this side. So get some of that off. Okay. So we're just cut, going to cut pieces. And it's the size you want. Get a little bit more of that fat off if you choose. And like this piece here, you know, you can kind of hold it up and you just kind of pull it. That's a nice tough little thing right there. Okay, I'm gonna take my seasoning packet here and I'm gonna put half of it on this meat and I'm just going to kind of massage it in. You can see how hot my pan is. I'm gonna put my meat in only half of it. I do not want it to stew. If I overcrowd my meat, it's gonna release its juices and stew. We wanna make sure we have nice brown layering on our meat. And also, when we flip that, see how beautiful that is? Crispy bits are on the bottom too of the pan and that's what we want. While that's cooking over there, let's start cutting this up. Let's get in here. I'm just gonna have these in big chunks. The potatoes, I'm going to probably, yeah, that's a good size. They don't give you a lot of celery. <laughs> so if you have some extra celery, great. If not, just cut these real small. I think I might get a rib out of the fridge and put in there. And then for the carrots, you can leave the carrots like this, or you can, you know, Cut them once, you can slice them really thin. Um, that's up to you. All right, I'm gonna sprinkle our seasoning on here now and just toss this. My meat is still cooking, I'm on my second batch. I love a lot of pepper. So put some pepper in if you like. And also I have some mushrooms I'm gonna throw in here as well as one extra rib of celery, and maybe I've got a carrot. Maybe I'll put a carrot in there too. You don't have to though. I just love a lot of veg in everything. Okay, all of our meat is finished. I'm adding it all to the pot and then I'm also gonna put in our vegetables. At this point, I just want this to cook. I don't wanna add anything else. I'm gonna let it cook for 10 minutes. I'm gonna turn it down to medium low heat, maybe low, and with the lid on. Lovely. Some of the juices have rendered out, which is awesome. Dude, now you could say at this point, oh my gosh, this looks so good. I'm gonna put the lid back on and just eat it as is. That's perfect. You do not have to go any step further than I that I am gonna do. But for us, we're gonna make this a stew, which means we need a little liquid. Now I'm gonna put two cups in for the stew and let this cook down. But I'm putting one extra cup in because I'm going to be adding barley to this. Here are two things I want you to get and have in your pantry at all times. First is better than bouillon. It is a soup base that restaurants use heavily in making their soups. It's great for flavoring stews. Um, you will find all sorts of uses. I keep in my fridge the chicken one, the beef one, and the vegetable based one. They're organic, they're amazing, they're full of delicious vegetable and meat flavors. The other one, which my mommy uses often, she uses that too, is a gravy base and browner. There is one called Gravy Master, 
and there's another one called Kitchen Bouquet. Condiment section, this is in the stock and soup stock. section. So I'm go gonna put like a tablespoon of my Better Than Bouillon in here for flavor. I'm gonna let it cook for 15 minutes, then we're gonna add our barley. Can I add my barley now? Sure, I'm just gonna get my um, water up to a boil and get it nice and hot in here, and then we'll put our barley in and keep it cooking. Okay, it's been 15 minutes. We've got a lot of good liquid. We're gonna put in our barley. I wish I had more, but that's all I have. What we could do is just taste our broth a bit. Okay, pretty good. I would think it needs salt, maybe a little more of my um, beef soup base or um, the gravy master. But for now, I'm just gonna let it cook down. We gotta get a lot more of the flavor from the onion, the carrots and the celery and mushroom and meat just rendering down. I immediately tell it's getting a little thicker. Why is it getting thicker? The barley is doing that. And that's the beauty of barley is it acts as a natural thickener, so you don't always have to use flour or cornstarch to thicken your, um, your stew. I feel like I need a little bit of this in here. Now, I never measure it. I just do a little pour. This is great for gravy too. Watch how nice, see how dark that is? It just adds a beautiful color. So we're just gonna let this go on low for 30 minutes and um, go from there. Okay, let's check. I definitely can tell we got a good thickness going. This is perfect for me. I don't want it any thicker. Perfect, look at this guys. <laughs> Super easy, lovely. Let's dish it up and give it a try. Yum. If you have some fresh parsley, putting that in there right now would be perfect, which I do. So I think I'll chop some up while this is cooling in here. Okay, let's give this a try. The parsley will add a nice fresh punch at the end, but if you don't have it, don't worry about it. The whole point is to not have to go out and buy all this extra stuff. Mmm, that is so good. If you don't have that barley, which is your natural thickener, what you do is you could just get out like a half a cup of your, your broth that's in there, let it cool off a bit, and put like two tablespoons of cornstarch in there, stir it up really good, then pour it back in, that'll thicken it perfectly. It's to your liking as to how much of the beef base you put in there. Um, you might want to add a little salt. And super easy. You just buy that one thing at the store. If you want to add some extras, go ahead, but you don't have to to create this great meal. Please subscribe below and give me a thumbs up. And I would love to hear from you with questions on things that you would like to cook or that you would like from a restaurant, one of your favorite things from a restaurant that we could make in here at my kitchen. One less thing you have to go out to eat to get when you have a craving. That's important. So let me hear from you. Thanks again.